Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Endless Space. Let's end the turn. And finish with our conquering of the Sophons. Which I didn't want. I didn't really want, but they had, it had to be done. Or maybe we can just take out at least like the here system. We can leave them Ukda, maybe then negotiate a peace treaty? So then we can get additional approval from having more peace. Because I mean, we're not going to totally destroy them because they have colonies out here and then I think they have another one maybe that's their only other one they simulated a few races maybe it was just this one and those but still like I'm not gonna go all the way up here through Carver space to go and take out Usolo no 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 thank you are they blockading me are you mad we are not gonna watch this fights and we will win done do we need any repairs we have the dust so we can repair our ships uh, we probably need to repair when we are not in um, traveling or whatever okay what do we got another brig new fleet merge these together I think we can probably stop for right now building these and this is an upkeep of eight and it's not going to give us anything quite yet so we don't really need that um hmm this would promote the religious party I don't know, that's a lot of dust. And honestly, I don't think I really need that much influence anyway right now. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Well. I may just build this because there's not much else to build. We don't really need this. <sighs> okay, we'll just build this. At some point, probably something will affect our approval rating, and this will be worth it then. Actually, how many people? How many different races do we even have? Do we have at least three? We've got the Calgaros, the Lumeris, and just the Calgar. Okay, well, so for eight dust, this will give us ten approval currently. Until I find a way to move people from system to system, and then I can. Um, get this thing to be really amazing. But until that time, is it worth eight dust for ten approval that I don't need? Nah. Uh, no, not really. Not really. I, I, I guess we don't do anything. We could make more brig ships. We'll make more brig ships. I don't want to just be doing nothing, but if we go into the research, I will be needing... I had it queued up at some point. What it was it? Plus two dust per person on planets, which is actually pretty good. We do want that, but this is what I wanted. Maximize exploitation. Plus two per person on planets, plus four per hot and dry. But this actually requires Hyperium to build, which we don't uh, have any production per turn. We could back go back down to here and re and uh, unlock that, but I still don't, I don't know. Do we have any planets that even have that? Because we need to be able to mine it, it, like to make this worth it. Let's see. The Hero system has one, and we know we can take this planet. Actually, it has two deposits of it on two different planets. So basically, we will be able to get it very soon. All right, why not? It probably won't take that much to research. I don't think. Hopefully not anyway. So we'll grab that because this is gonna give us a project that a system can do at any time and will give us dust because of it. So I want that. And move planet or move ships.
and you are going to go over here, and we want to just crush the hero system, continue to hold at Phaeton, guard. We still have this colony ship right there, I suppose we can deal with that. So we will. Is there anything else you can make? Here. Make this after that brig. Okay. Note that the bar fills. Down with your current government. It was a sham anyway. So congrats with government diversity research. You are now able to change your type of government. Click on the sentence screen to learn more. Okay. Careful! Major changes in your Senate composition or changing your government will result in the cancellation of any laws in effect. Well, this one we don't need. That one's actually kind of cool. I do like that one. Let's take a look. So we are a republic. Representative scale with population. Actions have normal cost and are diversified. Installing a new government of a uh, new style of government doesn't come for free. Influence must be paid. Provided you can meet the influence cost, you're free to make the change. However, bear in mind that a period of anarchy will always follow a change in government, and that the duration of this time of anarchy will depend on the approval of your population. If they're not happy to begin with, you could be in for a long spell of unrest. Each government type has its advantages and disadvantages. Knowing your mid to long term in uh, intentions will help you make the right choice for your empire. Okay. A dictatorship needs a 90% approval rating across the empire. Democracy. What does this do? Additional science on systems. Minus 25% diplomacy cost reduction with minor civilizations. This is giving us food and influence, right? Okay. Okay. This is, I'm assuming, is going to be military. Oh no, plus 50% dust on systems? Dictators can impose their desired political ideology on their populations. However, the further this ideology from the population's natural inclinations, the bigger the friction. So this probably requires not only a high approval rating to begin, but you're going to need to keep it. And this is just a different kind of republic with science. Federation, more production, minus 10% over colonization penalty reduction. And representative scale with the system level, actions to influence elections are powerful. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense in a federation, sure. The more powerful systems have more influence in a federation, that's kind of cool. What I really want, though, is this, that dust. I'm not really all for dictatorships in real life, but money greases palms. Propaganda. Oh, we would spend manpower for election actions too. Interesting. Well, we can't do these two yet. I don't know if I really want this one. What are we at? 75? Huh. How can I raise that? I mean, I'm trying my best. So we're building all those approval buildings. If I throw in that law and make peace with some people, the approval will go up. But then if we change governments, that law may go away. Which would be bad. Um... Here, buy that out. Let's see what our happiness is like after all of these colonial rights. Man, I really need a high approval rating. At least go to a federation, because, like, the democracy just seems too close to what we already are. So that's not that interesting. It does buff up science, which is cool. Not saying anything bad about that. I'm not sure if that's really what I want. Oh, man, I didn't even really...
notice this. So we can just slowly destroy their manpower over time and not have to do a direct engagement. That makes sense. Alright, what else happened? Pacifists are currently winning. Militarists are getting up. That's not a surprise due to the war that we are having right now. Oops. That's my desktop. Colonial rights, okay. And now we got the AI labor and public 3D printing. Cool. It'll give our system something to do. Uh, you're guarding. You're moving up. Move up there. Okay. End turn. Not surprised they haven't come to me with a uh, request for peace by now. Lobbyists for your empire's banks have been assailing your senators for weeks with demands to ease some of the regulations on their operations. In particular, they're requesting looser restrictions on letting ordinary citizens in space travel ventures and on ins ensuring ships heading out for long distance voyages. They promise increased financial gains. All right, what, what, let's, let's get down here. What's going on? More approval, less dust. More dust increases pacifist political ideology. 50% chance of creating a major economic crisis. Um, you know, I'm all about that dust, but we have a lot of dust. And to change government types, I need the approval rating to at least be high for a while. I'm going to deny. Also, the whole 50% chance of creating a major economic crisis. Eh. How about we don't even tempt fate? Tokshin has signed the diplomatic tr I'm sorry, what? Soon we feast on your flesh. Oh great, the Cravers declare war on me. They have no way into my system other than through these Cravers, who have, oh my god, their sphere of influence is nuts. Um, that's worrying. Hold on. Uh, let's see, so these Cravers are... That's war, right? Yeah, so they are already at war with the Cravers next to them. Cold War with the Sofans and the Vadiani. I can't really tell with the other one. So, they have to go through here to get to us. Also, it sounds like maybe this is a time... Can we do alliances? What else can we do with you? Not much. But we are very friendly. Um, I can give you some manpower. Not that much man. No, no, not that much manpower. Here. You can have 200 troops. How about that? The family's got to look out for each other, okay? Th they don't like that as much. Okay, here. How about how about I give you 500? I don't know if this is actually going to help me down the line with um, getting other deals, because it looks like they're already super friendly with me anyway. But if I can help them win this war, then I'm going to help them win this war. Uh, so I'm going to give them some manpower. How about that? It's going to cost me influence. cost them nothing. They're gaining everything here. I'm just hoping that down the line, maybe they remember this. I don't know if the AI will or not. I have no idea. But there you go, buddy. There's a gift. I'm sending some troops over to help you in your war. As long as you don't pull any tricks, this is a deal we can get behind. What tricks? Other than those man powers secretly being agents and spies that I'm going to use to infiltrate your entire society and then at the right time turn on you and then murder you all. Other than that, what possibly could I do with giving you troops? You know? God, don't be so, like, paranoid. I'm not even a bad guy. Jeez. We don't have any hidden agendas. Alright, is 10 gonna be enough? Probably. 74 versus 46. We're gonna take our time on this one. We appreciate our soldiers. We want to keep them alive. Give them more hit points. 
We're not gonna watch it. Holy crap, we just murdered everybody. Alright. Well, now we control all these planets. So this is definitely gonna be a problem child for approval, I think. Or not. Or not. Well, the, uh, the event is helping out a lot. Also, our optimistic uh, trade helps a lot, too. And we only have minus five from planet? I thought each planet would be minus five on, like, for each one. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, what is this? Plus two dust per person and science on planet. That sounds great. Mineral rich, plus three production on planet. That also sounds great. Who do we have here? A Kagaros and some Sophons. That's all we have? Oh, over here. Sophons and more Kageros. So all of these Kageros are also assisting with the approval here, right? Uh, 50 from approval, four from the Kageros. That's what that icon is. Yeah, okay. Not bad. This would give us another additional plus 10. We'll pop that on. We are going to probably colonize the rest of these planets. Maybe not this one specifically. The hot trait. Which one was it that had bonuses in hot? Actually, this is the water planet. You guys should be over here. Like, all of you. Because that's going to increase our approval by plus four each. So this should... Yep, now we're already happy. There we go. Just moving some people around and using their effects. Uh, so you guys like cold. Well, we don't have any cold here. Okay. So out of these planets, we want to probably colonize... Is this science? It is. Okay. Probably want to colonize this one. The Antonov rings are pretty cool. So we're going to click colonize. Uh... This does also have titanium, so we can get titanium quicker. We now have a few deposits because of all of the systems we've been taking over. But sure, we can queue that up too. Actually, let's queue up this after... Well, you know, we're already happy. Queue it up first. Get us some more science in this place. Yeah. Alright, so now that system is ours. Maybe you all over here. I am assuming at some point that the influence is going to stop growing for these people since we hold their planets and we'll move you up here because this is the choke point into our um, territory these ships will crush that okay and maybe we do need additional brigs just because the cravers may somehow just skip through these people and then get them to us Maybe. Who knows? We have enough dust. We can support the uh, cost to our uh, military. Are they, Is this influence really still growing here? How does this... Like, how... How does this work? Truce forced. This diplomatic agreement recognizes the following tribute to be paid as war spoils. The reparations or tribute being... Oh, wait, what? What is going on here? As a victor, I acknowledge that I will receive a total of 23 dust per turn for 14 turns, equally split between the defeated civilizations. They... F it was forced? What am I seeing here? Compensated war damage. Minus 22 war score. I will receive... Okay, well, I didn't know this was the thing, that you could just force a truce. What I'm not sure about is it, like, was this truce forced because of pacifist being the leader in, in the Senate? Was it forced from the AI? Do they have some kind of technology that can force a truce? I don't know that yet. I'm assuming, I'm going to lean towards that, that it was the AI of the uh, Kadim player here forcing this truce on me, not my own pacifist people. All right. Well, the war's over, um, which is fine. I got the systems I wanted anyway. In fact, at this point, negotiating peace may be pretty good. 
Hmm. What's our happiness at now? 83, so we can form a federation. Although 17 turns of anarchy. But what I really want is this one. That economic effect, the dust, man. But you could also argue that we already make so much dust anyway that we can just buff, buff up another part of our um, economy. Which I think this would make the most sense, but it's just the boring choice. And also, I don't see the families forming a federation. Like, really, I, I see them forming a dictatorship. The families control everything. Which is probably why this is the dust effect. Oh, well. Why not? Let's just vote this in. We're at peace right now. Well, I mean, the Cravers are still fighting us, but they're a long way away. Let's see what this anarchy does. Anarchy has begun. Your empire has fallen into anarchy. Once 17 turns have passed, the government type federation will be established. In the meantime, your laws have been abolished, and you won't be able to vote on new ones. Really? I mean, it says I can. <laughs> but I'm going to believe it. Yeah, our political parties are gone. Just pacifists now. Oh, so that's... Yeah, that's okay. Interesting. Anyway, we'll see, how, we'll see what happens after this. Does that have any other impact on our economy? Anything from anarchy? No. Alright, let's actually go into a system and see if any of its values are being affected by anarchy. We still even have the Republic bonus, so that's still in effect through your anarchy phase. So anarchy, the only like, cause you, it's kind of crazy. You still keep the effect of your previous government type through the anarchy, is what it seems like here. And the only negative is going to be the whole law system, and of course your political party. All, all of it. basically this screen is kind of screwed. But besides that, I thought it was going to be a little worse than, than um, what it is. Wow, but we did take a big hit when we lost that trading law in our dust. Holy crap. Okay, that is actually pretty huge. I think for right now, we are going to be pretty much true pacifists. I don't really want to be aggressive against the Cravers in this uh, time of turmoil. Dude, these people are so happy. Like, I really, I really don't need that. We're just not going to do anything in the Janus system. You got to be kidding me. They forced a truce and then they snuck a... Are you... Are you kidding me? How long is this truce for? Well, now you done just ticked me off. Enjoy that outpost, friend. I'm taking it back. All right, well, I'm, I'm taking it. I know. I know it's not doing anything. Twenty-one. Holy crap! On the here system, do we have that? Okay, so like here makes a lot of sense, especially since we have a, an actual monsoon planet. In fact, we'll put that after the optics research lab. 
because we still have a few um, well places to colonize here. So yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. We're going to get a lot of food out of the hero system. And we are going to lose the food bonus from our Republic here soon. So that will help, I guess, help that out. Um, did I ever assign that hero? I assigned you in Silphy. Okay, well, we're going to unassign you from Silphy. And assign you to the hero system. There we go. That's going to be a more important system than Silphy. Silphy is still happy. How many different population types do we have? I think we just have Lumeris. So this is only going to be a plus five. Hmm. I guess we'll do public 3D printing. Same thing in the Janus system. That's going to increase our dust a little bit. Okay. Move ships. And we are now doing right. The Hyperion stuff. Okay. Well, it's good to know we at least have something we can do if the um, systems don't have a good building or a ship to make. Ah! Leveled up. Good for you. Plus 10 on system, plus 10 on system per water. That doesn't sound good. Okay, let's level you up. We'll get additional food because we need it. With the elections approaching, you've begun to take note of the growing support from mi uh, minority parties within your government. Your aides have given you conflicting reports of the causes. So I'm trying to argue some matter of um, policy views, age gaps, stuff like that. All right, what, what are we doing here? Reduce cheat cost during elections. You have a 40% chance of being discovered by your people. Or plus 10 influence on Empire for 20 turns. There's no elections currently anyway because of anarchy, right? That's one of the, the things. Yeah, we'll just arrest the spots. Okay, here. Here, I guess we just do public 3D printing. And then in Yissel, that is only worth three dust. I don't know if we really need... Really many of these buildings. They are ecstatic though, so the optics research will aid that. 13 turns? Eh, how about we just make that one? And then we'll just do the 3D printing? Eh. I mean, I guess... There is no upkeep cost. Eh, okay, sure. There's no upkeep cost. There's really no downside other than the turns it will take to make it. Eh, sure. Hmm. And then this five industry will then be converted by this. The plus five is not going to give us back the net four dust it keeps to upkeep this. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. Okay. Out of that system. Move. We have quite the fleet here. problems with having Sophons in your empire is that the little eggheads seem to have a particular genius for goofing off. Hardly a week goes by without news of Nero hopped Sophon youngsters rampaging through town. Okay. 
For the next 10 turns, build only science focused improvements. And then we can get culture jam centers. Plus 50 science? Per system? It says unique. So we only get one? Or do you get one per system? Within 10 turns, garrison at least two ships in each of Yisel and Pisces hangars. And then we would get plus 20 approval. This is an easier thing to do than this is. So we will do garrison. 10 turns, garrison, two ships, and Yisel and Pisces. Okay. And then we'll get Wapster. Wait a minute, is that like Napster? Is that a hit on Napster? Well, hold on. The expense of enormous and the number of individual contracts to be negotiated in the millions. Finally, however, a service is created that streams any form of entertainment to any receiving platform in any format anywhere for free. There is great rejoicing. Yep, it's a play on Napster, which is kind of crazy. Because that's kind of an old thing. Anyway, uh, sure. Wapster it is. Yisel and Pisces. Easy enough. We will send one fleet, not the main one. Um, move. Why? You have movement. Why are you not moving? And it's just their fleet specifically that is grayed out? Okay, whatever, man. It's fine. There, we'll move that one. But why the hell... Did that work? Oh, well, were they just the ones guarding? Oh, maybe that's why. But I couldn't, like, stop guarding. Hmm. Here, you guard. Anyway. Alright, what else do we have? Population growth. So fond growth in her. Up in her. Oh, cool. Alright, so that was pretty quick. Next. Next, what do we do? Snow, steps, you know, we should really get all of the planets. But I should also see if we have any of those planets in our systems. Um, so what am I looking for? Tundra and Boreal. Oh god, okay. Tundra and Boreal. Tundra... Boreal. Aha. Okay. And there's also snow in that one. Hmm. We have one Boreal that the AI took. And then there is one snow in our territory. So we would get Boreal. I'm not sure if we need it. Because we may be able to just conquer the planet and it'll be fine, but we'll still just grab it. Eh, you know, we'll just grab both. Whatever. It's going to be quick to research. It's fine. Plus 10 per Velt. We do have a Velt planet. That is something we do have. But let's go back up to here. This was 40 influence. Unlocks actions to influence elections. The overcolonization penalty would be pretty nice. I don't really care about the food stuff. Um, let's start grabbing some more military stuff. We do have mostly titanium right now, so we'll grab that. And... 
probably move on from there. to disband you then move you two up into Yeezel nice we are growing quite quickly in the hair system it's a beautiful thing such a beautiful thing how long do we have until the truce is over nine turns okay when that is up we're gonna murder them uh, but that's gonna do it for now everybody thanks for watching I will see you all next time Take care.